Hello, everybody. Andy Roman here. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. This episode, I'm actually calling Communing with the Breath. I know that sounds really audacious of me to <laughs> say anything about that. And there are techniques, of course, where to go within is to follow the breath, to be aware of the breath. It's a good thing, of course, to realize that I'm alive by the courtesy of something is keeping me alive. But to follow the breath is really different. That almost means like, uh, you know, mentally do something. It's different from communing with the breath because that involves being so simple to really let myself sink into and let go of whatever is in between me and that still point. And what I'm finding which is so lovely for me that that still point has qualities of, of its own, of its in and of itself. That still point has qualities of peacefulness, of joy, of actual bliss. And it is the source of all inspiration. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Just to tap into that for a moment is so wonderful. And I tell you, it gives my life purpose you know thank god for the grace that has let me stumble into this and i know how to make my effort it gives my life purpose and then i guess get to be a human i get to learn all the human skills and all the cool things about being a human being and about my own individual self with my own individual history then it's all fun but without that deepest communion, pff, human life is a struggle. It's difficult and seems meaningless. I mean, these are just words. But the purpose of my life is to commune with that deepest part, is to commune with my breath. The breath is the gateway to that, not just to follow my breath. That seems so rote. And it is a tendency to want to claim to be somebody on the spiritual path or something stupid like that. This is about the basics and really fundamental. It's not a religious thing. It isn't a meditative thing. It's just the fundamentals, the basics of all basics. Communing. You know, when I commune with something, I am one with it. I am tuned with it. Catholic communion, that's what communion means where you merge with the body of Christ or whatever that is. So there's so many ways that this has been described, but this is beyond description, no question about it. And so this is my feeble, humble attempt to sing the praises of that reality. You know, that's what I'm here for. And thank God I get to have this in my life. I am so grateful. Everything else is cool. Everything else is interesting. Everything is interesting. And when I have this first, the whole world opens up to me. You know, I need to stay focused because I have the tendency to just get lost. I, you know, some people have ADD. We all have ADD. We're, we're all easily distracted, et cetera. I don't have to talk about anybody else. So I need constant reminding. And in my next episode, I'm going to talk about having a teacher. You know, there have been so many teachers that have helped me along the way. I remember my third grade teacher, Mr. Klein. He was just adorable and fun, and he made learning really fun. And he was so respectful with us kids. Okay, so teacher plays a really important role in this whole process. So till next time, love you. Here's, here's to communion. Thank you.